You put in the time, you put yeah. in the work, you were in university. How important was that for you to take drama into, you know, further studies in order to be where you are today? Well, I didn't know much about the acting business. I was just always um, active mm -hmm. and uh, I come from a big family. Sure. So I thought I was funny because every time I said something, they laughed. Sure. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try this out. And then I went to university and I studied and obviously you learn the technique and you learn a lot of other things about the entertainment business, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then do you think that it's beneficial for someone who wants to get into this industry to go into a university and actually study and perfect their craft? Yeah, yeah, of course, because it's a lot of work. And yes. a lot of times when people see us on TV, then they think, oh, that's easy, I can do that. Sure. I can just do it, but it takes a lot of work. Uh -huh. I mean, right now it's late at night and I'm here with you guys, <laughs> which is part of the work. Exactly. So uh, you get to learn that at university. Yes. But also, I mean, you didn't just act. Stand-up comedy was a natural calling for you. Uh, Tell us about that journey and of course, uh, where can we catch you next? Because he's really, really funny. <laughs> it was Black's only way I saw you, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was a long time ago. It was a very long time ago. I haven't worked with David Cow in a long time. Uh, I'm doing a comedy show on the 27th. Um, you, you asked me why, how I got into comedy. I'm sorry, my honesty is gonna shock you guys. I was broke, and I wasn't getting. <laughs> <laughs> I was broke, and I wasn't getting a lot of acting work. Sure. And I was like, oh, there's a comedy stage. Can I try something? Sure. And I used some of the stuff that I learned at school, like I would change scripts and try and make them funny, like change Shakespeare and make it a township yes. thing. Mm -hmm. And people found that funny. Yeah. Like imagine uh, uh, Macbeth as a colored guy. Is this a goni I see before my eyes? <laughs> and I would say things like that. And then I started working on it and I was learning from other comedians and then boom, it worked. On the 27th, on the 27th, I've got a show at uh, Melrose Arc. Okay. We'll make sure we catch that. Please, please. So now you've gone into to acting and obviously really grown. You've got a brand new show that you're on and it's about boxing, MMA. Oh, uh, of <laughs> Do you actually know a lot about boxing? <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not a boxer. Look at me. I'm not a boxer. Uh, I did do a bit of karate as a young man. Uh -huh. um, and in the show, they trained us to do MMA because obviously you have to look like you know what you're doing. Sure. So I learned a bit of that. I can protect myself now when I walk in the streets at night. <laughs> yeah. People must know, Guti, I know how to protect myself. <laughs> That's not an ant. <laughs>